was a hectic day for me. Uh, when I went there in the morning, I thought it will be a very smooth day actually. But unfortunately, um, our systems had uh, some few issues and uh, I couldn't go from work early. So it was really crazy guys. It's 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning. I'm leaving work now actually. I'm really tired. Uh, just want to go sleep. I'm feeling hungry but I don't know if I'll really eat. Because I just want to sleep. Today when I was uh, surfing the YouTube I saw a very beautiful video about motivation and uh, how to get over hard things if you're going through a difficult situation. It's really a short video, uh, maybe it's about uh, 3 minutes or so at the end of this vlog um, for you to see it and uh, I hope that it will give you motivation and let you understand how to get over hard stuff even though sometimes people do let you down you know we're living in a world that everyone just wanna put the other guy down just for his own satisfaction I don't know why this is happening but I just trust in God that the world will be fine for the people that know God you know what I mean not disrespecting to any other people um, yeah because these days money 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 is important in this life you know but it doesn't mean that you need to backstab people or do bad stuff or you know be a drug dealer or just go behind the easy money they say easy come easy go you know but the money that you're really working hard for will really last even though you're spending it but at least you will say this money is still with me or I spend it in a useful things but when you take an easy money just spend it in things that you never know where is it well anyway maybe this video is not talking about money it's just talking about uh, motivation and if you're going down or you're not feeling up and people are pushing you down just don't listen to them just do whatever you think is right I don't mean like if you think wrong is right it means it's right no, I mean like you're doing the right, right thing. How do you know you're doing the right, right thing? I don't know. Open the Bible, read it. Maybe just get an advice of someone that did a mistake before you. Um, I think those advices will do help you. Or maybe if you do have some other advices that other people need to share, you can comment down below in this vlog. I think it will be very helpful for you and for other people that are watching this vlog. So I'm home, I'll just park the car and... Uh... You guys... Away my joy, joy. Anyway, so yeah, guys, I'm home already. Um, just wanna wish you a blessed day if it's at night, and if it's in the morning, I wish you a blessed morning. And just wanna let you know. That if you did like this video, 
put your thumb up and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and always remember to smile and be happy and peace It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear, the fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? These are not risk takers. You spend so much time with other people. You spend so much time trying to get people to like you. You know other people more than you know yourself. You studied them. You know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them, you don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. When you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you're following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. I'm telling you to, to define your value. That everybody won't see it that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that you are an uncommon breed. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. If you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. To invest in you. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That you don't have to go through life being a victim. And even though you face disappointments, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it, period. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibility. There's some of you right now 
You want to be, you know what I'm saying? You want to go to the next level. I want to counsel. You know, I want to be an engineer. I want to be a doctor. Listen to me. You can't get to that level. You can't get to the level economically where you want to be until you start investing in your mind. You're not reading books. I'm challenging y'all to go to conferences. I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself. When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. I tell you to get to a place when people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. I need you to invest in your mind. Invest in your mind. If you're still talking about your dreams, if you're still talking about your goals, but you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. After we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dream.